Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk you through how you can use LinkedIn Sales Navigator to identify key decision makers in your target audiences so that you can create leads and generate new sales for your business. Hello, so before we get started, I just want you to know that in the playhead at the bottom of this video and also in the description, there are chapters so you can skip forward to different content that you think is more applicable to yourself. First off though, we're going to look through the UI of Sales Navigator, how do we get into Sales Navigator, how to get around Sales Navigator. So to get into Sales Navigator, you need to be logged into LinkedIn and in the top right, there's a little option called Sales Navigator, you click on that. That gets you into Sales Navigator. Now in terms of the view of Sales Navigator, originally we'll come into this home view, this is like a dashboard. If you have accounts saved and you have leads saved, I'm going to talk about that in a second, it will give you highlights like this company has additional roles, this person has recently moved job, um, different things like that which can keep you up to date and allow you to act on actions that are happening with those companies or contacts. Other than that though at the top here, this is how we navigate through Sales Navigator. So first off we have account lists. Account lists are um, lists of companies and lead lists are lists of individuals. So they're two different types. Accounts are where you're just targeting companies, lead lists are where you're going after specific people, usually at companies, but that's how it breaks down. You can either click up here or once you're in one or the other, you can just click between them here. Additionally, we also have this messaging section. This is how you send in-mail. So in-mail is a paid for service. If you have LinkedIn Premium, you'll know if you have LinkedIn Premium because it'll be a little gold bar at the top here and it'll say Premium and you'll be paying for it on a monthly basis. If you have LinkedIn Premium, it awards you with um, in-mail credits that allows you to send messages to people you're not connected to. It has a limited amount of credits every month, but this is the UI you use to send in-mail messages. Unfortunately, it's separate to your normal messages within LinkedIn, and as a result, things can quite often go missed. So you need to make sure you're regularly checking this section here. What I'd recommend doing, as just a little bit of advice, is if you're outreaching to people manually, you wanna connect with them first, see if they accept and then message them that way because that doesn't cost any credits or you want to try and connect or you want to try and send messages to people in the companies you're trying to contact who also have premium because if you both have premium it doesn't cost a credit to send a message. If you exhaust those options then you want to go to um, in mail and you want to send to the ideal person of the ideal companies because you have a limited amount of credits you need to be really picky with how and who you send email to. So that's all that. We also have an admin section, seat management. And then over here, there's also another little bit. If you click on your image in the top right here, you can go down to social selling index. And this opens up something, this is purely for vanity, um, but it opens up your social selling index, which basically tells you how well you're doing on the platform. It's arbitrary, but it'll basically say, out of your team, like this is people who are signed up to Sales Navigator. I've got different members of the team. I'm the only one in Sales Nav, that, hence it's only got one. But then also, tells you your industry and where you rank in that industry in terms of people in your network. It tells you what builds up your score and also tells you what the averages of other people in that industry is. You can see top 1%, top 1%, not difficult to get there if I'm being completely honest. If you do just the basics, our numbers aren't even massive, you can get into the top 1% because most people don't really engage too much on LinkedIn. So that's the UI and that's how you navigate it at high level. Now I'm going to talk you through how you're going to find leads and then what you can do with those leads. Okay, now we're going to start building out some lead lists. There are two ways we can do this. You can either do it with accounts where you just identify companies or you can go after specific people. So I want to speak to HR directors in companies of a certain size within the UK. We're going to go with lead lists first. The principles are the same for both, but we will look at both. So what you want to do is click on lead lists and then you can click on lead filters. You can also just start, start a search, but if we click on lead filters, It'll open up this window here and this is how we start to search for people okay we just add more and more information in you can also start with a keyword so let's say we want to target SaaS companies we can type in SaaS and enter that as a keyword and that will find the keyword SaaS in people's profiles and bring that information up so boom we have people with SaaS written in their description for example as you can see SaaS 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 but we don't want that for now we just so what we're going to do now is we're going to look for HR directors in the UK, company size over 200. So we can go through here, the company headcount, we need them to be 200 plus. So we're going to just select down here. We have all that information in there and it's going to start populating this as we go. 
company type we don't have an industry that we're after but we do want to make sure that they are privately held because we don't want anything else so we add that in there company headquarters we want them to ideally be in the united kingdom so we can include we can also exclude so for example if you included europe or emea but you wanted to specifically discount a country such as off the top of my head italy for whatever reason you could exclude italy so you can have broad targeting but then just exclude little things um so you can have that next up role there are two ways we can do role uh, roles we can either go down the route of mixing job function and seniority which is a more broad approach and can uh, bring you more more people more leads or you can go with job titles now the issue with going with job titles is job title is a free text field within linkedin i'll show you exactly what i mean so if i come down to this section here where i list all the job experience i've had and i click edit i can edit my job title right this here is my job title it's a free text field i can put in anything ruler of the world that can be my job title and i can save that that is not a predefined field and as a result what happens is i'm going to discard unfortunately i'm not the ruler of the world um what what happens is linkedin when you're typing information in gives you specific job titles um whereas uh, the, the text field is free text and as a result there's a disparity there so by going after job titles sometimes people will write in job titles that LinkedIn hasn't linked up properly and as a result you can get better results with function and seniority play with both and see the results you get it differs depending on industry some people the job titles are very clearly defined others they are more broad for now let's go after job title though HR director human resources director include and that's immediately going to bring our list down we can see how many results there are at the top here okay that's the the example with um job title so we have 2.5k results we're going to do the same now but with function we're going to go human resources and we're going to go with seniority director include and as you can see we have 17k results so it's the same thing we're, we're human resource directors but we've gone from 2.5 i think it was to 17k just by changing the way that we're structuring that search so that's how you can do that let's stick with this for now uh, we can also add in additional information like we know we need someone a bit more senior so we want them to be embedded into the company so they need to be at least there for three to five years um years in current position uh, at least one to two years they could have worked their way up something like that you can add in as much as you want right um next up uh da, 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 da. let's go over here so connections you can add they need to be a first degree connection which means um they are connected in your network second degree connections which means you both know someone you are linked by one uh two degrees or third degree connections which means one two three um we're going to go with second degree connections you can make opening up a conversation easier hey i saw you know and then we can uh this guy shared connection I, sh I saw you know mark like that can be your intro so it gives you a bit of an opener geography want to be based in the uk obviously headquarters in the uk but they need to also be based in the uk uh, we can also go on groups if they're in specific groups we can add in industries if we need to first name last name if you want to be very 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 specific profile language make sure that's set to english because we're reaching out in english school years of experience you can add in more and more and more information into here and refine your search as best as possible just keep an eye on this here to see how many results you have the more specific you're being over here the smaller your lead list obviously the size of your lead list is going to be uh, directly linked to whatever strategy it is you're using to then follow up with these leads now i really hope this video is helping you so far i just want to let you know that my company tech growth marketing we have a suite of other videos that can help you in terms of lead generation and growth we have a linkedin ultimate um, ads guide that's extremely useful and we have loads of other videos in terms of strategies for growth etc that you might want to check out they're all here on this youtube channel they are all entirely free additionally my company tech growth marketing is currently giving away free growth strategy sessions so if you're looking to gain more leads sales whatever it may be for your company but you're not quite sure what to do you just want to know the most efficient path we do that for companies all day every day so we've seen everything we can just give you a shortcut if you want to apply for that call there's a link in the description below if not absolutely fine hope this video helps let's keep watching so we now have a list of people laid out and that's because we've entered in all the search criteria so we have a list of ideal people next up we need to start saving those leads so that information isn't lost so there's a few things you can do firstly you can save the entire search that's everything on the left hand side here can be saved to do that 
all you need to do is press save search here and name it. So we'll go HR Directors UK, save search. And if we want to come back to that at a later time, we can just click save search at the top here, find the list we have, click it, and it will, in a second, bring up it, all the same search criteria and the same um, thing here. The people in there might change because it's a saved search. So for, if, for example, someone was a second degree connection, but they now become a third degree connection or a first degree connection, they wouldn't show in the search again because it's doing it based on the search criteria on the left hand side. Also, what we can do is we can start saving people to lead lists. So they're people we want to keep an eye on. The ways you do that is on the left hand side. Let's say we look at Chloe, right? And Chloe is someone who we want to get in contact with. Definitely. What we can do is press save and that will save them to a list. Now we can create different lists. So we're going after HR directors. So we're going to say list name is HR directors UK. And then we can add in a bit of, uh, a bit of information here. UK based HR people. Um, you'd probably be more specific. Create and save, right? And that will create a new list and we can then manage those people and keep an eye on them. If we're doing social selling, it just puts them all in one nice place, right? So save, save to list, HR directors UK, boom. It also starts to come up with similar people. So we can start looking at, it just helps expand your search. So we can go through and do that. Additionally on this view, we can do different things like we can connect with them. So we can just send a connection request directly from here. We can view their profile. The profile is viewed within Sales Navigator. Um, not within LinkedIn. So it's like a separate view and it just gives you a, a bit of extra information such as shared connections, things like that. And from here we can press message and that there will open the in-mail option. So this will be using credits. Um, it does show you your credits. So we at present have 150 remaining credits. The reason we have so many credits is because we haven't sent an email message in quite a few months, whereas we still have LinkedIn premium. So that's something you can take advantage of, obviously, if you have the credits. Um, so that is how you start saving leads into a list. Okay, so we have our list of people and then we also have determined we can save them into different lists. We can we can organize them and keep track of them. What happens next? That's entirely dependent on what your strategy is for outreach. We can do several things. We can have them in a list. We can connect with all of them and then see who connects and we can start sending them direct messages. We can use in-mail messages to send messages directly to people. I have a whole other video on uh, messaging people. Don't immediately sell people. That's a little hint. If you go in here and say, my company does this, would you be interested in the call? It's probably not going to work very well. But what else can we do? Because there's surely got to be other more efficient ways of doing things. Well, if you want to automate the process, you can use external tools. So some external tools you can use are, first off, Pippi Leads. This allows you to scrape lists. Scraping lists is whereby you get a bot to go through LinkedIn. This is a perfect example of what it does. You run a search, you uh, set up the extension and you press a button and it will basically go through everyone on that list and rip their profile, rip emails, rip all the information it can down from LinkedIn into a, an Excel sheet. And if you do that, you can then start pumping that information into tools such as Lemlist or um, Clenty or something like that, an email outreach tool. And then you can start outreaching to them on email, for example, if you have an email outreach sequence. So Pippi Leads is one way to rip data. Another way is something called Phantom Buster. And Phantom Buster is like, it's, it's an automatic tool where it allows you to automate tasks basically. And there is a, a Phantom um, that allows you to scrape profiles. So as you can see here, LinkedIn Profile Scraper. So you can run searches, get your leads, not only save them in LinkedIn and manage them in there, depending on whatever your strategy for outreach is. It might be to start commenting on their um, content a lot. So you do a bit of social selling before you reach out to them. But you can also then rip that data from LinkedIn using external tools and then pump that into something else such as Lemlist to be able to do follow up. So we've just talked through everything you can do in terms of finding lead lists, saving them, what you would do afterwards, etc. I just wanted to quickly cover accounts because I said I would do that as well. Accounts are companies instead of exact people. So if you're at the home view here, you can just press account filters and that will bring that up. The principle is exactly the same. So LinkedIn has two different types of profiles. It has personal profiles such as my personal profile here and it also has company pages here. Basically, what you're doing by switching between the two is you're either looking through company pages, which are accounts, which is this, or you're looking through individual pages. So here we can start saying, right, I want a company with a turnover of X 
they need to have a company growth rate of 20% if you were doing recruitment for example they need to have a certain amount of followers they need to use certain amount of certain technologies um, you can basically identify companies based on that and that allows you to identify entire companies so you can then say right it doesn't matter who we contact here we can maybe contact five different people at this company because we need a different in um, and it's just another approach it's going to completely depend on what your strategy is for your manual outreach and um, how you're following up with leads but that's how you do accounts so I really hope that video has helped you. Just remember there are some other guides that might help you as well on this YouTube channel, such as the ultimate LinkedIn ads guide, strategies for getting new leads, um, manual outreach strategies, growth uh, strategies, everything you can think of and the things that we run for clients is listed in the videos on this channel. So you can teach yourself everything you need to know. But if you just want a shortcut, you want someone else to help you get to the position of a consistent flow of new leads, then you can apply for a free growth strategy session with myself. I'm not gonna palm you off onto anyone else. You can apply for a free uh, session with myself via a link in the description below. I hope you have a good day and I'll speak to you really, really soon.